This time we're looking at a trapezium prism. Sometimes this is called a trapezoid or something similar. These can be confusing because of the angles. When you're drawing on a 2D piece of paper, a 3D shape, sometimes the angles don't look like the shapes they really are. Knowing the net for a trapezoid is a good idea. That's also helpful. It's also helpful if you can imagine those invisible lines, draw those in at the back. Remember that with a trapezium prism, we have two trapeziums. The rest are rectangles. So you have a base that's a rectangle. You have a side that's a rectangle. Even though that's at a strange angle, it is a rectangle. And it's the same as the one at the other side. And then you have the top of the shape. This bit can be confusing. Although you have trapeziums at the front and back, you have rectangles on the side. And a lot of people look at this shape. I think that the number you're multiplying by 7 is going to be smaller than the 8 that is at the base of that rectangle. But it is a rectangle. It will be 8 centimetres at the top as well. Because the whole shape is a rectangle. So working out the area of each of the faces of this shape. So we have the base which is 12 times by 8. Then we have the top, and remember this one, it's 7 times by 8. Then we have the rectangles at the side, so there's the one at the right, which is going to be 8, and it's the same as the one on the other side, so the height of that will be 5 centimetres. So that's 5 times 8. And the one on the left, even though it doesn't look like a rectangle at this angle, it is a rectangle, and it's exactly the same as the one on the right. Now we have the two trapeziums. Notice that these are what we would call isosceles trapeziums. Both of those sides are the same height, as indicated by those lines. The formula for calculating the area of a trapezium. So we call the top width A and the base B, and we add those together and then we multiply them by the height of the trapezium and then we divide it by 2. So if we call the top of this trapezium A and the base B, we add those together, 7 add 12, that's 19. Now we have to multiply that by the height, which is 4. 19 times 4, that's 76. And now we have to divide that by 2, which is 38. So the area of that trapezium is 38 centimetres squared. And remember, there's another one at the back that's exactly the same. Now we add those areas together. And the total surface area of this trapezium prism is 308 centimetres squared.